In this video, we'll look at finding ratios of perimeters and ratios of areas of similar figures. The simplest way to look at this is with two squares. Two squares are obviously going to be similar because they've got all the same angle measures and the ratio of sides will all be equal as well. So if we have a square with side length one, and another square with side lengths two. We can easily calculate the ratio of the corresponding sides. Is one to two. The perimeters, the ratio of the perimeters would be four times one for the perimeter of the smaller square over four times two, the perimeter of the larger square. Well, since we have four over four, that cancels. And our ratio of the perimeters is just one over two, or the same as the ratio of the sides. So finding the ratio of perimeters is actually fairly easy when you have similar figures. It's just exactly equal to the ratio of sides. Now for ratios of areas, we could just calculate the areas of these figures again. One squared over two squared, which is equal to one over four. Now the ratio of areas is not the same as the ratio of sides. In fact, one fourth is one half squared. The ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of sides squared. Ratio of the areas of similar figures is equal to the ratio of the sides squared. Now this would be something that you would use if there was a problem like um, find the fair price of a pizza with a diameter of 12 inches if the cost of a pizza with a diameter of 9 inches is $9.99. So we could look at that. So if we have a 9 inch diameter pizza or $9.99, and we want to know the cost, fair price, for a 12 inch pizza. When you're thinking about pizza, you're probably thinking the area, the amount of pizza that you have to eat. So, a common mistake on this is to just say, well, 9 over 12 equals $9.99 over X, the cost of the 12 inch pizza. Well, that's the ratio of the corresponding parts. The diameters for a circle would be kind of like the sides of a square, their corresponding parts. But pizza, we're concerned with area, so we would need to do the ratio of the sides squared. So we would have 81 over 144 is equal to 9.99 over x. Solve that. to 17.76. So, when finding the ratio or finding the fair price for this pizza, we're concerned with area. Circles are similar figures, so we would need to use the ratio of sides squared. Let's look at one more example with rectangles. If you had a picture that is maybe three by five inches, and we were going to double it in size in terms of its length and its width. 
So we would be going to a total of 6 inches by 10 inches. So we've talked about doubling the length of the sides, but if you look at this picture, this, this diagram, you can see it's far more than double the area. In fact, doubling the length of the sides ends up with four times the area. So again, the ratio of the sides from the small picture, the three by five to the six by 10 is one over two, but the ratio of the areas, it's pretty easy to see, is four times that. The same would hold true if instead of doubling, we tripled. So if we start with a three by five picture and we triple it, six to nine, I'm sorry, 15. Um, and this, By tripling the side lengths, so our ratio of the sides from the smallest to the whole thing is one to three, our areas, this is only one ninth of the area. So ratio of the sides squared, ratio one third, square that, and you get one ninth. And then continue this process with quadrupling times five, whatever you want to do. One final example of this, to just kind of hit that idea that it's the ratio of the side squared would be converting from inches, square inches, to square feet. Well, the ratio of the sides of a square inch to a square foot One inch on each side here is 12 inches here, so our ratio of the sides is 1 over 12. And our ratio of the areas, well, one square inch is the area here. This area in square inches is 144, 12 by 12. So 1 to 144. Again, the ratio of the sides squared gives us the ratio of the areas. So, in summary, ratio of the perimeters is equal to the ratio of the sides, but the ratio of the areas for similar figures is equal to the ratio of sides squared. And for the heck of it, let's look at one more. If we are given that figure one is similar to figure two, and the area, let's see, this side length is 10, this side length is four, and if we're told the area of figure one is equal to 100 units squared, what's the area of figure two? Well, ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of the sides squared. So I'd find my ratio of the sides, 10 over four, squared, and that's equal to the ratio of the areas. I know the area of the top figure is 100, and I'm looking for the area of the bottom figure, we'll call that x. So, ratio of the sides squared is 100 over 16 is equal to 100 over x. Well, that's a fairly simple proportion to solve. x must be 16. But that's a different answer than what students often do. And they just set up 100 over x equals 10 over 4. And they accidentally set the ratio of the areas equal to ratio of sides and get 400 equals 10x and x equals 40. This would be incorrect. That would be setting the ratio of areas equal to the ratio of sides, but the ratio of the areas is equal to the ratio of the sides squared.